Welcome everybody. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 16th of August through to Sunday the 22nd of August 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. Okay so um, for those of you that I'm reading for let's jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does the soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Thank you. First card is, is home. Uh, now quite a few of the elementals, um, I can't remember which ones, but the weekend readings, there were at least a couple um, of the signs, either fire, air, water, and earth came out with that home card. So um, might be worth some of you checking out the weekend readings, might give you some more information. All right, my angels and spirit, spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does the soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Week commencing, Monday the 16th of August through to Sunday the 22nd of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards the collective that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? Thank you. Second card is wild, okay, and that was another card that came out, um, I feel it was for the fire signs, but I'm not 100% sure, but familiar cards are coming up, thank you, and final card is how teachable of you. Okay, so for a lot of you, uh, these cards are familiar because they did come out in the elements uh, for the weekend reads. So if you do know your moon uh, rising and sun um, and Venus signs, it might be worth checking out those readings. All right, let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom messages are telling us. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question, how does the soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? We, thank you. Oh, we have many paths. We have the child and we have the owl. Now, the owl did come up again. I can't quite remember uh, which elements it came up for for the weekend reads, uh, but these are familiar cards. So, like I say, if you know your sun, moon, rising and Venus might be worth checking out uh, those weekend readings. OK, everybody, let's have a look and take a deep dive into your crowning messages. Okay, everybody, so let's have a look and see um, what your crowning messages are really telling us. Okay, so for those of you that I am reading for for the week ahead, um, with this home card, uh, I feel as if whoever you are connecting with, or it could literally do with your, to do a situation to do with your home, Somewhere where you feel secure, okay? Somebody feels like home to you. You feel like home to this person. And you will see there's a picture up here. I don't know if you can see that hanging. Um, and I feel as if uh, whoever you are connecting to, they may be looking at your picture. Uh, you may be looking at messages um, that they have sent to you, messages back and forth. I feel as if they were your light, okay, your beacon of light. Um, and I feel for some of you, you may have been their beacon of light. Something has gone away. Now, this uh, lady is dressed in blue, which tells me maybe something to do with communication. Uh, something was spoken uh, around your, your throat chakra. And if you look at that green kind of pendant or piece of jewellery or something, it was to do with the heart. 
So I feel as if you felt that the conversations you and whoever you were connecting with, um, you were on the same page. You felt like home to each other. Um, you felt like home to each other. It's like you spoke to each other's hearts. But look, there's a rat in that drawer there. I've only just noticed that. So either there was somebody that kind of interfered, that was kind of a bit of a rat, basically, or the person that you're connecting with uh, was a bit of a rat, okay? Or maybe you were a bit of a rat. Um, but basically what this card is saying is that you're almost, I feel as if those that I'm reading for, there's great disappointment um, in somebody that you thought uh, felt like home to you. And it may have turned out that they were a bit of a rat, bit of a, a rodent, okay? Uh, and I feel that there is disappointment. And I almost feel that some of you may be going into that mental space of like, oh, I can't believe I'm on this road again. You know, I thought I met somebody that we're speaking the same language. Um, we are on the same page in terms of our heart um, and what we feel and how we communicate. Um, and something went away, okay? And I feel as if you feel like this person was a rat or you've you've just been deceived in some shape, form or another. The, your second card is uh, wild, yeah. So I feel that those of you that I'm connecting for, you wanna break free. You wanna break free from overthinking, overanalyzing, feeling as if you've got caught up with a rat all over again, okay? Um, and I feel that that wild side in you, it almost feels as if you want to rebel. You might want to just go out and just party or live it up, paint the town red, literally, just so that you feel free, um, breaking free, taking that wildness and just taking it out, just to taking that boat out, going out, painting the town um, red um, and just being a bit wild, okay? With this nine, um, this how teachable are you? I feel as though Divine Spirit Universe is trying to communicate with you either in your sleep, okay, through dreams, visions. Now, there's a lot of purple and lilac, so I feel that they're trying to open your eyes, basically unveil your eyes, your third eye chakra. And they may be doing this through music. So those of you that I'm reading for, either there's a particular song that reminds you of whoever you're connecting with, or you may play an instrument. Some of you might specifically play a violin, or you might um, use music like sleep meditation music, that kind of um, energy to, to help you go to sleep, to just go into sleep meditation. It's through that process that you do or a song that you listen to that I feel Divine Spirit Universe is trying to unveil your eyes to show you something that this whole situation that you're going through is actually teaching you something, all right? With regards to somebody that I feel that you feel quite disappointed, you thought you guys were on the same page, you communicated the same kind of language, um, this person really caught your heart, you caught their heart, but it turned out that they were a bit of a rat. And you're sitting there thinking, I can't believe that I'm, I'm, I'm there again. And you just want to let loose, I feel. But Divine Spirit Universe is saying, how teachable are you? So for some of you, where you thought that You'd been down this cycle before with other relationships or maybe even with this person, all right? And you kind of, I, I'm picking up that you felt that you thought that there was change, that you were finally on the same page. There's a lesson um, that I feel that you thought you had learned by going through many different cycles or maybe even different cycles with one particular person or several people um, that you thought that you'd you'd learned those lessons. And so therefore, um, you closed off seeing. You closed off seeing signs, synchronicities 
of the patterns that led up to you feeling as if, oh my gosh, I'm back here again. And some of those patterns, some of those cycles, some of those behaviours may have actually come from you. So, for example, some of you may, when you first met this person, may have been a bit wild, may, be, may have been a bit free-spirited. And trust me, there's nothing wrong with that. But that may be, have been a um, pattern that you have repeated in past relationships and may be repeated in... Um, this relationship, if they, if it's kind of been on and off, on and off. Some of you may have actually used your sexuality, male or female, okay, to kind of get what you want. There were lessons that you were supposed to learn from that. You thought you had learned it. And that's why this disappointment is really hitting you hard in your heart space. And Divine Spirit Universe is saying, how teachable are you? How open are you to receive guidance from us? And what's very interesting, you guys saw me pulling out your, your cards. You've got many paths here. This card is, I feel is, again, Divine Spirit Universe coming in, trying to illuminate. There are many paths that you can take. And I feel as if, you repeated a particular path. This reminds me of there's a film where um, not the Matrix. It's not the Matrix. It's another film uh, where there are so many different paths. I, 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 uh, I think it's like a path to heaven. It's, it's it's a comedy. It's a it's a it's a comedy about somebody who dies on earth and goes to heaven but actually they kind of died by mistake they weren't supposed to die okay um and uh what happens is that they map out all the different paths in their lives and all the different paths that they could have taken to change behaviors uh change how they um deal with people uh how they speak how they operate how they live their life etc 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 um and and I feel as though um, Divine Spirit Universe is saying that it's like that film. It's kind of like you kept going down the same path, even though there were so many different paths for you to take. And this particular card is just letting you know that all paths at the end of the day lead to Divine Spirit Universe. It's It leads to your levelling up. It leads to your growth. Remember, you are all spiritual beings having human experiences. And part of that experience is to, to grow, okay, to elevate, um, to connect with your higher self, Divine Spirit Universe. And that's why all paths lead to divine spirit, universe, your higher self, good, bad and ugly. All right, because each path is going to bring you learning. It's going to bring you growth. It's going to bring you change. It's going to bring you wisdom. And it feels as if um, divine spirit universe is coming in with this wisdom of many paths to let you know that ultimately all paths lead to spirit. And what you, the path that you choose, you will either choose a path of suffering, a path of wisdom, a path of bliss or a path of loss. Whatever it is, you've outgrown a situation. You've outgrown certain patterns of behavior that you have applied to attract what actually doesn't serve you, rats. Yeah, and I feel as if that you're now being guided that you need to make some sort of change. And I feel that the wisdom that's coming in is that your guides are trying to take you on a path that connects with your inner child that is um, of purity, of joy, of bliss. That's the path that they want you to connect with. And that's the path I feel that they're guiding you to take. For some of you, you may actually take that path. Whatever you have gone through with regards to a relationship or a situation, I feel as if you're finally getting it. 
you're finally seeing that actually there are different paths that you can take with your actions, your behaviours, what you attract, law of attraction. And I feel as if whatever path you take, um, you're going to be using your wisdom. It's as if divine spirit universe is bringing in wisdom. It almost feels as if with this um, orange kind of moon, it's like the sacral chakra. You're going to feel your way through knowledge and wisdom with your eyes wide open this time. And that is connecting with your inner child. Your inner child, I feel, is kind of screaming out for joy, for bliss, for happiness. But you have the choice. You have the choice. There are many paths. They all lead to divine spirit universe, your higher self. But you've got to choose what path is going to get you there quickest, I suppose. All right, for all of those that I am reading for and connecting with, if this message resonates for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And returning subscribers, thank you for all of your support, encouragement, your donations. I am truly, truly, truly grateful. And I hope that all of you um, get a meaningful and useful message from this reading. Also, everyone, you can um, connect with me on the uh, on Instagram and TikTok. So please feel free to join me on those platforms. I welcome your support and encouragement there as well. All right, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides, well, something's falling. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, Please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Do you know what? Listening to one of my crystals that just um, must have fallen. I can't see where they are. Um, but do you know what it just reminded me of? The pennies dropped. The pennies dropped for many of you. That you need to take a different path. And that you may have closed yourself off to being taught, to learning, to receiving divine um, messages, signs, synchronicities. Closed yourself off from your third eye chakra being unveiled. The penny has just dropped. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Week commencing. Monday the 16th of August through to Sunday the 22nd of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards the collective that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's see how this is resonating with you and uh, your soulmates. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me, how does these soulmates of the collective feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 16th of August through to Sunday the 22nd of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually? Thank you. So we are, oh wow, we've got the Ace of Cups, a new beginning. A new beginning in love. You guys are going to take a different path. And the path that you're going to take, it's going to be unconditional. I feel as if this may be somebody, it might be somebody new for some of you. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Just checking we're all in view. All right, so for those of you that I am reading for, I feel as if, um, mm, oh, I stand corrected. It might actually be the same person that you are disappointed, that felt like home, that was the rat. I feel as if, let's just read it without bias. So whoever you are connecting with, whoever you are thinking about, whether or not this is this person that I feel has let you down or whether or not you choose a path 
I feel as if um, you're being guided, your wisdom is saying that you need to take a different path. But right now, without, you know, being biased to the person that um, I feel has let you down, let's just read the cards. So with the Ace of Cups, I feel as if whoever you're connecting with wants a new beginning, okay? Um, they do have a lot of love for you. All right. Um, and you have a lot of love for them. With the eight of pentacles, I feel as if this person has been paying a lot of attention at work and um, building their pentacles. OK, I feel as if they may be somebody that is like a manager or a team leader, but it feels as if they've got like an open door policy. They keep that light on. They burn a candle. It's almost as if um, spiritually they're, they're letting their employers know or their team members know or the people, the staff that they look after, that their door is always open no matter how busy they are. This person may actually spend a lot of time at work. You know, they they probably eat their lunch, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner there. OK, uh, and they burn the candle at both ends. So this person is somebody that spends a lot of time at work and I feel that they keep the door open for others, their team um, to uh, come in and talk to them because this person is a good communicator. Look at the blue that's in here. And when it comes to matters of the heart, they know how to listen and they know how to say the right things in order to balance something out. This person with the pink here, there is universal love around this person, I feel. They know how to balance people out. They, they're very good. They're a very good communicator. And that kind of explains why um, with this blue dress. And look at this. I've just noticed this. Same blue dress. Well, this is a blue top and a blue dress. So I might actually be reading um, for the person that I feel that's let you down. This person is a very good communicator. They know how to talk to the heart. They know how to balance out the heart. This person knows how to talk the talk. All right. But for those of you that are connecting with this reading, um, there is equal love. This person loves you. They want a new beginning and they know that you've got unconditional love for them. At the center of your reading with the four of pentacles, I feel as if you don't want to, you don't want to let this person go. You don't want to let them go. You think about them constantly. And this is where you're being guided to ask yourself, how teachable are you? Because it feels as if you've gone through this cycle with this person time and time again. I feel as if this person knows that you won't let them go. And I feel that you are going towards them or you want them to come towards you. With this King of Wands, I feel as if this person is very, very bold, very free spirited. And look, <laughs> just I've just noticed there was a lot of passion between the two of you. The red on their top and the red on the dress here. There was a lot of passion, a lot of wild times, I feel. This person could have Leo in their chart or you could have Leo in your chart. I almost feel as if you knew how to tame this person. They knew how to tame you. Because if you look, this looks like, you know, the, the, the beauty and the beast which is the strength card in traditional tarot. Not that that card means that, this card doesn't mean that, but that's what I'm seeing. You two got each other physically, through talking, communication. This person is very, very, very handsome, very, very beautiful, male or female, very handsome, very beautiful, very free-spirited, very independent. And remember I said to you that they like to uh, keep a candle on or they burn the candle at both lights or at work. They have that open door policy. There's that light again. And this person has got the gift of the gab, I would say. You've got the blue coming in here as well. And I feel as if they know that you won't let them go, that you think about them all the time. And I, I kind of feel a little bit of arrogance there with this person. 
I'll be honest with you, just from the stance of, in which this image is standing in context of your reading, they're standing very bold, very upright, you know, very strong, I'm not going to doubt that, very strong, very confident, but they are very much in your energy. You don't want to let this person go. And with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel as if, um, <laughs> I feel that you want this person to offer you something solid. I'll be honest with you, for those of you that I'm reading for, I feel as if they're going to walk away from anything solid. The Knight of Pentacles typically means that you know, somebody is coming towards you with a solid offer, but they're going to be slow and steady. Now, this person is walking slow and steady, but look in context with the kit Knight of Wands. This person is free spirited, independent. They may be taking their sweet time to offer you something because they know that you will never let them go. And I feel as if this is why your spirit team is coming in and communicating with my spirit team to let me know that you, you, you've got many, there are many paths that you can take with the situation that you're in. And I feel that the wisdom that they're giving you is to use your wisdom with the paths that you have gone through with this person and make different choices. How teachable are you? Are you open to that? Are you open to take a different path? A path that your inner child, I feel that is crying out for, for joy, for bliss, for harmony. Wow. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. There was a lot that came up in those cards, wasn't there? My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Wow. Okay. So I feel as if this person is manifesting, manifesting you back. They know that you, you, I feel those of you that I'm reading for, um, they are, they know that you are the real deal. Okay. They, they know that there is a lot of passion between the two of you. I feel that you get them as well. You both talk the same language. And I feel as if um, they're manifesting you. Ah, oh, actually, this magician could also mean that they have played a lot of tricks with you. When it comes to love. But the Ace of Cups is a new beginning. They could, they may have played a lot of tricks. So this person genuinely might have been a rat for real. But I feel if you're waiting for this person to offer you a pentacle or come in with a solid offer, look, they're actually walking in a different direction. And this is your side. This is your energy, those that I'm reading for. And this person is all up in your energy. I, do you know something? Whether you are male or female, I would strongly suggest that you take back your power because this person knows that they've got your power. They may have played a lot of tricks with you, manipulated you through what they talk, through what they speak, through your physical connection. It almost feels as if you followed them. You were the follower. They were the leader. I feel divine spirit universe is saying, mm, maybe you should think about a different path. But regardless of whatever has happened in the past, this person is still manifesting you, manifesting a new beginning. Thank you. Wow. So we've got the uh, nine of cups in reverse. I feel as if this person... Oh, I'm so sorry to say it, but it feels as if this person definitely has been manipulating your emotions. And I feel that this week they may come and talk the talk because they know how to talk the talk. They know how to get to that heart of yours. 
But this person doesn't see you as their happiness at all. Not with that um, nine of cups in reverse. Not at all. But they may um, manipulate you. They may let you know. Or they may, they may um, create an illusion, okay, that you are their nine of cups, okay? And I feel as if that they are, well, they, they, they're talking the talk because they know that you will follow them because they know that you can't let them go with that four of pentacles. You think about them all the time. They're in your heart. They're in your mind. You can't let this person go. And they know that and it almost feels as if they're manipulating you quite strongly. This person also, I feel where they have paid attention at work, they've also neglected, neglected, neglected you, neglected you. They know that the relationship is broken. But they're still manifesting, manifesting a new beginning. This person, I feel, manipulated you. And I, to be honest with you, it feels as if they're still going to continue manipulating you. With the justice card coming out in reverse, this person... Oh, my God. Do you know what? I, do you know... It's, <sighs> this person does not want reconciliation with you. They would rather be at work. They may come in and talk the talk and say they want to get back together. They want to balance things out. But they're, gonna, they're coming in with lies, people. They're coming in with lies. This person knows how to talk the talk because they know that you're going to follow. Could be dealing with a, a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. That they just showed me the bottom of the deck. You saw this person as marriage material, somebody that was divinely guided into your life. Could be dealing with a Taurus or you could have Taurus. Like I said, if you're going to be waiting for this person, you're going to be waiting for a long time because they're going in a different direction. I feel that you want them to offer you a, um, a, a solid offer. They're, they're not. I feel that this person um, is highly intuitive. What did I say? Again, look at the blue. I don't know why I'm, I'm just noting colours. Oh my gosh, look at the pentacles on the purse. You And look, the same red, the same red, the same red. You have got a choice to change your foundation, your fruit, your root, um, your root chakra. It's almost as if you have picked up some real bad habits and patterns and that has solidified you, how what you build your relationships on because it's to do with your heart and the actions that you take. OMG. Some of you genuinely may use your sexuality in relationships. But with this high priestess and the blue coming out here, this person, it feels as if intuitively... They know that if they talk the talk, they kind of get they're going to get what they want. So I'll give you an example. If you said to this person, you know what, you need to balance out work and us and the relationship. They may have turned around and said, yeah, yeah, of course I will. They ain't planning to do that. Intuitively, they may talk the talk to you because they have the gift of the gab. They know how to talk the talk to people's hearts, to um, balance, balance out how people feel. Because this person is highly intuitive. This is a classic example of somebody that's very spiritually gifted and actually using it in a not, not so righteous way. I'm so sorry to tell you. Let's continue. Gosh. Oh, my God. And the Knight of Cups. <laughs> this person may have once come towards you with a cup of love. Ain't coming towards you now. 
This is all their energy, by the way. The Knight of Cups in reverse. That cup, they, they, they are showing love to themselves. It almost feels as if it's like what they can get. They're more focused on their money, their finances. But they want a new beginning with you because there is love there. But love for what? Love for themselves? Because it almost feels as if, oh, you know, do you know what? My heart goes out to you guys because I feel as if those that I'm reading for, You've given this person your power and I strongly feel that you, you really need to check that out. You need to really look at the paths that you're taking and really apply some wisdom here because you've given this person your power. I feel as if you possibly, you know, you, you, don't, you do show this love to this person. They show you love, but you remember they know how to talk the talk. They know how to get to your heart. They know intuitively what to do, what to say. So they may come in and say that they want a new start. They want a new beginning because they love you. They love themselves. They love the attention that you give them because they know that you won't let them go. You don't want to let them go. This person is in control. And I feel that you're being guided to ask yourself, um, are you be, are you, how teachable are you? And look, with the seven of wands here, you want to fight for this connection. Because in your mind, this person is the one for you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know something? You have lived many lives with this person. And if you guys are in separation, you're missing them. You want to put the past behind them, behind you. But you've lived past lives with it. This person has, that's why they're saying, how teachable are you? I feel as if there was a soul contract with this person many, many lifetimes ago. To teach you something, OMG, that's why they're saying, how teachable are you? You miss this person, oh my God, you're, and you're devastated, heartbroken, disappointed. But you know something, there may be another relationship that you're not seeing that's actually protected. That's why you're being guided to take a different path. Look at the paths, look at the paths clearly that are open to you that divine spirit universe is showing you because one path is going to lead lead to more heartbreak more loss and it's with this person it's bloody clarifying them but what you're not seeing is that there are two cups behind you because you're not taking that path to something that is actually protected for you it certainly isn't this person. And look, they're just showing me the Ace of Cups. And I feel whatever those two cups are, this is true love. This is true love that you can give equally. And not be manipulated. Queen of Wands, yeah. I feel as if... Um, <laughs> this is your energy. I feel as if... Um, you may see this person as your divine counterpart, the king of wands and the queen of wands. But I feel as if your action, you have got, I feel as if you've got a choice to take a different path to somebody that is going to offer you something solid. This person might, but I see them person, I almost see this person walking off in a different direction. A different direction to you. Wow. And you are you are refusing to put this down. So the five of swords is heartbreak. Um, this is um arguments, disagreements, a battle. In reverse, you're not letting this person go. 
It almost feels as if you, you're not seeing the signs and synchronicities. Again, how teachable are you is what I feel that is coming out here. How teachable really are you? And I feel as if you want to take action to stay in this connection. And Divine Spirit Universe is saying there are many, many, many paths. Which path are you going to take? Are you going to still go on this roundabout with this person? And it feels as if this person betrayed you quite a bit as well. This also is betrayal. They may also feel a bit of resentment from you, for around you for whatever reason, but they do want a new beginning. But I feel that the only reason why they want this new beginning is because they're thinking about love for themselves, not you, I'll be honest. Jeez. You've got a choice here to turn your back on disappointment and go in a different path and put this battle with this person behind you because they're, they're not they're not they're not offering this pentacle to you not in the way that you would want it anyway i feel like i need to pull a couple more cards because this feels like a bit of a cliffhanger thank you oh my so i feel as if you know what we said that this person you guys made a soul contract to go through this You've lived many, many lives um, with each other. And in a very uh, weird way, this person uh, sees you as their wish fulfillment because I feel it's because you dote on them. You don't want to let them go. It's almost as if this person can just get away with, you know, this rodent behaviour. Wow. I'm looking at that smile there and I'm just thinking, do you know what? Justice will be done. I, do you know something? Um, I would say that the two of you with the star card and the justice coming up right here, um, you feel as if you've got a soul contract with this person. And I would say that you guys were married in past lives. Again, how teachable are you? Is this really bringing you joy? Are you on a path of joy and bliss and happiness? I would almost say that you're not. But you have um, the power to control what your next steps are. It almost feels as if you need to speak your truth to yourself to come out of that energy to be happy, to be bliss. Look at that. It's like there are two paths. One is going to bring you suffering, sorrow. The other will bring you bliss, happiness, peace. You guys made a soul contract with each other to go through this. And I feel it was supposed to teach you something. Again, I cannot even express it. If there, I mean, this card... How teachable are you has come up in so many of the readings that for this collective reading, it is actually more pertinent. I have a deeper understanding of what 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 it means. And I hope that I am bringing that across. You made the soul contract this person to teach you this lesson. Many paths lead back to spirit, your higher self, divine This person is coming to have a serious conversation. What did I say? Talk. The blue is all in the blue. This person wants a serious conversation with you. Coming in with a small token. Because they've got it good with you. They have. And I feel as if, look at the lilac. Divine Spirit Universe is saying, are you not learning? You've gone through this cycle with this person before. Wow. Wow. So the Queen of Swords, I feel as if um, this 
This person, male or female, they may have cut you out or they saw that you cut them out. And I feel as if you tried to walk away, but they're still in your energy. You're still trying to protect your heart. You're still thinking about them. And that's why they're coming towards you with either an apology, but they do want to have a serious conversation with you. It almost feels as if intuitively they know if they don't kind of come correct, you will cut them out for good. I was just about to give my opinion there and, I, and they said to me, don't. And we've got the uh, Knight of Swords. Yeah, you definitely want to speak your truth. You want to rush in and speak your truth. Look at that. It's like head to head. Again, look at what I am saying. This is all about talking. Swords, swords. You guys are going to have some sort of conversation this week. But do you know what? They are going to worm themselves back into your grave. And look at that. I cannot even make this up. What comes out? The nine of wands. Back and forth communication. And I feel as if you are going to, either you are going to guard yourself or you're going to see that this person is, is guarding themselves. This has been a battle. Look at that. The five of swords that you're refusing to let go. For whatever reason, okay? You know your situation, but you want this communication with this person to clear something up. You want to speak your truth. We saw that with the sword there. You want to balance something out. I feel like I need to pull one more. What's the final outcome, please? Final outcome for the collective. Thank you. Oh, God. So with the five of cups coming out here, I feel as if um, the four of pentacles, you don't want to let this person go. The five of cups here, you're thinking about this person a lot. Daydreaming. But I feel as if whatever conversations you have, if you're honest, I feel some of you will take a different path because it almost feels as if uh, you're going to try and bury those feelings that you have for this person. Kind of bury it, put it, because look at that, those, those three cups. It's like this is not serving you anymore. And I feel that you, you, there was hope. There was hope that this person would, would come good, but it almost feels as if you've kind of come to the end of the road and it almost feels it's like with how can I put it um you don't want to you don't want to bury these feelings that you have for this person but you've kind of like I almost feel that you're going to be kind of weak it's like you know that you just it's like you're just going to just almost just just like blur okay I, I just got to move on but you're still going to be reminiscing. But you know, you know, that, that this cycle could have gone through with this person about three or four times. And I feel like your happiness, your treasure is elsewhere. And I feel that you that's a different path that you need to take. And for some of you, I feel that you will take it. But you are going to be thinking about them. You don't want to let them go. You're going to be thinking about it. And I feel as if you reluctant. That's the word. Thank you. <laughs> Reluctantly, you're going to let this person go. Reluctantly, you're going to let this person go and bury those emotions deep, deep down. So at the center of this card is disappointment, is more heartache. If you... Give this person another chance. But I feel that you're going to come to a point, and it may not even be this week, it will come to another point where 
you know that just reluctantly you've got to bury this. And to clarify, we've got the eight of um <laughs> we've got the eight of coins. Yeah, this person is still going to focus on work. And I feel that this energy is your energy. You're going to choose to just so it like let, let let's play it out. This person's disappointed you. You've had many conversations. They know how to speak to you and hit you in your heart space. You too can get jiggy with it. The chemistry of you is, is hot. But I feel as if there's probably been about four times you've gone through this cycle with this person. They know how to talk the talk with you. They know how to manipulate you. This person spends a lot of time at work. They will give to others, but they won't give to you. I feel as if you're going to take this person back. You're going to have a conversation this week. You're going to take them back. But we've got the five of cups here. We've got the five of cups here. I feel as if you're still going to end up going through this cycle again. That's why they're saying to you, how teachable are you? You're not seeing what's right in front of you because this person is still going to focus on work and you're going to be left disappointed, heart, heartbroken again. And then, <coughs> oh my gosh, you know what? You may even shut off any further talk. And this is not this week. You may shut off every every bit of um, chat now after all of that goes through and then finally take a different path. And that is where you're going to be happy. That's where those two cups, a different path is going to see you um, um, flourish. You're going to see you flourish. You're going to take action to make a change. You're going to be happy, independent, wise, beautiful. You're going to use your wisdom, yeah, and take a different path. But for some of you, um, I would say that um, some of you may not take this person back and just bury those um, emotions, okay? This person's just going to go back to work like nothing happened. But you know what? I feel that you're going to come out, um, whether or not some of you do it straight away, you're going to come out with your integrity, your grace. And in the long run, a path that you're going to take, you're going to be happy. You're going to create a really happy environment for yourself. Some of you may not even go into another relationship for a, a little while. OK, some of you may go straight into this energy and take a different path. Some of you may give this person another chance and they're just going to disappoint you again. All right. And then you'll get to that stage. All right. So I just wanted to I don't I don't like to leave um, readings on a too much of a low, low vibrational energy thank you so your advice archangel raphael feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light i archangel raphael offer you healing and solace the storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will the sun will shine eternally bright trust now what was it i said you remember the orange here in the owl it's almost like you need to feel your way through and isn't that interesting that this has come with a, a, a green which you could say is a green emerald you could also say that that is a green emerald so to some of you archangel raphael is around you and you may not even see it yeah they're trying to lead you out of this storm that you're in some of you may go around another cycle with this person but eventually you come out of it thank you oh my gosh and then we've got archangel San sandalfon i've heard your call for help your prayer will soon be answered yeah your spirit team is around you and the pink hair represents universal love this archangel is green. This is your heart, heart. You're going to use your wisdom. Imagine, archangel, imagine that emerald green light around you and your final card. Look at that. Think global. Do you remember I said you're going to go off? You're going to build a beautiful environment for yourself. You're not going to want for anything. You may not enter another relationship for a while, but it don't matter. You are going to walk with grace, integrity. You're going to, you're going to grow. You're taking a path that is about you, wise beautiful handsome somebody that's going to plant seeds for your own self and then it's got here think global again universal love pink coming out here you are being encouraged to spread your wings 
Think outside the square. You are a citizen of the world. Expand your vision. Imagine the world within your heart. Embrace it. Surround it with love. Let it be and so it will be. Absolutely. Your advice is saying to you um, that, do you know what? You can go alone. You can. Um, you're part of the universe. There is universal love around you. Your spirit team is around you. They want you to uh, go down a different path that is going to bring you joy, going to bring you bliss and use your wisdom. Take back your power. They've heard your call for help. But you know what? The, the, how teachable are you? How open are you for the help that they are giving you to get you out of this situation? and restore your inner child of joy, peace. It's up to you guys. I'm going to leave that there. That was a really long reading. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, um, I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.